Unesh! 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 That's Combo Breaker 99, and I am back with another Who's Next. All right, y'all, it's been a minute, but let's focus on Sarge Eubank. As y'all know, a few weeks back, Sarge Eubank made her return back to 125 as she scored a first-round stoppage over Elise Reed. Now, I know that's not the best win at 125. It's not a signature win because Elise Reed, she is a strawweight, and that was her UFC debut. But uh, Sarge Eubank, she's feeling good, and I think the best part of it was that she made 125. She looked good physically. Uh, she looked strong, and she looks like she's ready for the big names. You know, she took to her Instagram right away after this win, and she started calling out fighters. She called out not one, not two, not three but six fighters. So that makes my Who's Next video a little bit easy. That should make the UFC matchmakers their job easy as well, right? So uh, let's go back and look at uh, Sarge's Instagram real quick. Here's what she posted a couple weeks ago. Who's Next? It's been seven days and no contract yet. Come on, ladies, I don't bite. It's not allowed. Then she tagged at Jessica Evil Eye, calling out at Macy Barber, but both of them real quiet when my name come up. How about Bad Mofo JoJo? And that's JoJo Carter, if y'all didn't know. She's not signed. At Cynthia Calvillo, at Viviana Rujo, at Alexa Grasso. Tag in comments who y'all want to see me fight next. Somebody answer, or I'm going to have to make another TikTok on y'all. Then she tagged UFC and Mick Maynard. Y'all know I like to stay busy. Personally, I like Vegas in October, but whatever. So, yeah, she's looking to come back in October, and she called out everybody. <laughs> she called out everybody in the top 15. So she was like, look, let me get a fight with somebody in here. I want to make my return. I'm feeling good. That's basically what she's saying, you know, and uh, I think Sarge Eubank, she looked good in her last fight as far as, you know, making weight. You know, we still need to see what she looks like in the future as far as making weight again and what she'll look like against some of these other opponents, you know. So she called out a good group of names. So my thoughts, first off, I got to say, look, I like the fact that she's playing the call out game. That's the best way to get fights. You know, if you don't say anything, they'll just match you up with anybody, whether it be a mismatch or an unranked fighter or they'll throw they might throw a shark at you when you're not ready. So you got to call out names, and that's what Sarge is doing. So let's go down the names that um, Sarge can't have right now because they actually have dance partners. I don't think, you know, all of these names were uh, locked in for somebody. Well, Cynthia Calvillo was, but a couple of the names weren't locked in for a fight date, but they are now. So let's see. The six fighters she called out, she called Jessica I, Macy Barber, JoJo Calderwood, Cynthia Calvillo, Vivian Aru, and Alexa Grasso, right? So let's go ahead and ask the three names out she can have. And that's Jojo Calderwood and Alexa Grasso because they're already booked for a fight in November, right? So those two names we can X out. The next name we can X out is Cynthia Calvillo. Shout out to Cynthia Calvillo. You know, she's got a big task ahead of her. You know, just gone dry in September. But Cynthia Calvillo, much respect to her, she actually acknowledged the call out. I didn't see any other, other fighters in here answering back except for Cynthia Calvillo. Cynthia Calvillo, she actually responded. She said, I have someone lined up already. I ain't scared of anyone. I respect the call out, though. We'll get it eventually. And Sarge, you know, she uh, hit her back and said, OK, cool. You know, um, so, yeah, man, Cynthia Calvillo, she's not one to call out. That's one thing I got to say about Cynthia Calvillo. You know, you got to give her a lot of credit. You know, um, she'll call anybody out. So I definitely know that eventually they might fight. And Cynthia Calvillo should take on anyone. You know, when you tag her name, she will hit you back. So she was the only one that acknowledged that. So respect to her. So let's see. Those three names are out. Jojo, Alexa Grasso and Cynthia Calvillo. Let's look at the other three names. Those three names are legit. That's Vivian Arujo, Jessica I, and Macy Barber. So going down the list, let's start from the bottom up. Number 13, Macy Barber. That would be a good name. As y'all know, Macy Barber, she's coming off a gift win over Miranda Maverick. And with that win, it pushed her up from 14 to uh, 13. So now Macy Barber, you know, they're probably going to line her up with the top 10 uh, fighter unless they ma match her up with Sarge Eubank. And personally, I would like to see Macy Barber in there with another name like Sarge Eubank, somebody that's experienced. Because right now, what I saw from Macy Barber in the Miranda Maverick fight, that wasn't enough to tell me or I think a lot of other MMA fans that she's ready for a top 10 fighter. That doesn't tell that win over Miranda Maverick doesn't tell me that she's ready for somebody like, you know, Jennifer Myers, Caitlin Chikagan, or even um, a rematch with Roxanne Montefiore or Viviana Arujo. So I think that a matchup with an experienced fighter like Sajar Eubank, who used to run the flyweight division, that would be a good fight for her. You know, that's a good test for her uh, wrestling. Uh, Sarge Eubank, she's a tough, strong fighter. And I think Sarge has the, uh, I think she has the chin to take her power. And Sarge can bang as well. You know, Sarge comes in, you know, um, physically strong like she did it in the Elise Reed fight. You know, uh, which it's not saying a great deal because, you know, Elise Reed was a straw weight and she wasn't ready for that power. Uh, she wasn't ready for that power and strength. You know, Sarge Eubank could still go in there in this fight and uh, showcase some of that strength on um, uh, Macy Barber. 
you know so i think that uh this is a good matchup that'd be wrestler versus the striker and macy barber and i think sarge you know she could go in there and ragdoll macy barber i don't you know, I know a lot of people say, oh, she's big and she's powerful. Well, y'all saw how Miranda Maverick was able to nullify the power. Miranda Maverick was able to take the power. And like I said, I think Sarge Eubanks, she has a good uh, good chin and she can bang as well. So I think that would be a tough fight for Macy Barber. The only thing I'd be worried about is the gas tank of Sarge Eubank because Macy Barber, uh, she does have she does have a gas tank. And I do consider her a three round fighter. All right. So next up, number eight, this would be a good fight. Jessica, I. You know, for a couple of reasons, you know, there's some bad blood here between Sarge and Jessica. You know, I think that, you know, maybe like a couple of years back, they had some history. You know, Jessica, I was calling out uh, Sarge Eubank about some weight issues or just calling out her out the fight. So this would be a good grudge match, you know, similar to how Jojo and uh, Jessica, I didn't like each other. So I know if these two got in there, it would be a banger. You know, you got a boxer versus wrestler in there. And Sarge, I feel like she would come straight at Jessica I and give her all she could handle. Jessica I, you know, she's going to talk that junk to build this fight up. I know Sarge is going to acknowledge that. Going to be a lot of social media uh, wars going on here between these two. But I think when they actually get into the octagon, it's going to be a good fight. You know, it's going to be very physical. It's going to be very rough and tough. I could see Sarge going in there making this a very rough and ugly fight. But at the same time, I could see Sarge, uh, you know, um, at, at the same time, I could see Jessica I going in there and landing some good shots and trying to box with uh, Sarge. And I can see this fight going the distance and just being a good back and forth fight of the night type action. All right. And uh, last but not least, the number seven, Vivian R. Rujo. Now, I think this fight here is probably the toughest fight on Sarge's hit list. You know, I know that Vivian R. Rujo, she has some cardio issues, but still for the first two rounds that she's in there, Vivian R. Rujo is very dangerous. You know, she's very big. She's very strong. Uh, one of the best jabs in the flyweight division. She's quick. Uh, very awkward, very in and out. And I think that'd be the one type of style that would really give Sarge trouble, maybe until the third round. But I think the first two rounds, I think that jab would be trouble for Sarge Eubank. So she would have to be prepared for this one. She'd have to be prepared to go in there, cut the octagon off, switch levels, and actually bang with Viviana Rue at times. You know, I think she'd have to go in there and throw high volume like Caitlin Chikagan did. So this is a fight where Sarge Eubank is going to have to make sure her cardio is on point and that she can go the distance because Viviana Arujo, she's not a distance fighter, so you want to go in there and really, really press her and make her overwork herself. So, yeah, I think this fight here is the toughest on the hit list, and I think it holds the most significance. If she went in there and dispatched with the number seven ranked Viviana Arujo, that would definitely put her in the mix in the top ten for maybe one or two more fights before getting that title shot against Valentina Shevchenko. So, yeah, guys, that's my who's next with Sarge Eubank. Sarge, she wants all the smoke. Those are the names on my list that I'd want to see her fight. And from top to bottom, I'd say the number 13, Macy Barber, number eight, Jessica I, number seven, Viviana Arujo. All three of them are good fights. You know, uh, Sarge right now, she's not ranked. So if I had to pick a good name for her right now to not even rush it would be Jessica I or Macy Barber. Macy Barber, because that's a name, you know, she could go in there and fight that hype train and, you know, build up a big name for herself and get in the rankings or go straight for the number eight and Jessica I you know, who's coming off a loss to Jennifer Maya, and that'll put her in the top 10. And then after that, you know, they could match her up with uh, the winner of Calvillo versus Jessica Andrade and maybe Jennifer Maya. And from there, maybe get a title shot, you know, maybe take on Valentina Shevchenko in the um, next year and a half. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section what y'all think. What do y'all think of the call out of Sarge Eubank? Combo Breaker 99, I'm out. Subscribe, peace.